The Champaign County Regional Planning Commission, in partnership with the East Central Illinois Human Services Transportation Plan, HSTP Region 8, is pleased to assist you in learning about rural public transportation services available in Champaign, Clark, Coles, Cumberland, DeWitt, Douglas, Edgar, Macon, Moultrie, Pyatt, Shelby, and Vermilion Counties. To find out what public transportation services are available in your area, along with their contact information, please visit the website listed below. Welcome aboard, your ride is here. This is the beginning of your travel independence. Rural public transportation provides safe, affordable, and reliable transportation service at least five days a week, except major federal holidays. A few of the rural systems provide Saturday and or Sunday service. However, since this can change year to year, always verify the hours and days of available service directly with your local public system first. Rural public transportation is a great option for persons without a driver's license, especially teenagers, persons who are physically unable to drive, persons who do not own a vehicle, or persons who just prefer the cost savings and freedom associated with transit. Join us as we show you how to navigate your rural public transit system and connecting regional transportation services, utilizing the existing services in your community, including how to schedule a trip, pay the fare, board the bus, and how to utilize the various accessible features of the bus. Let's start with scheduling your trip. Have the following information ready before calling to schedule a trip. Name of rider, a contact phone number, date or dates, window of times, and location of where you want to be picked up and dropped off. Since we are not a taxi service, indicate if there is any flexibility in the day or time of your requested trip so that as many riders as possible can be accommodated. If you do not know when the return trip will be needed, for example a doctor's appointment, ask the system scheduler if the return trip can be standby notice and either you or someone will call the transit system's office to notify that you are ready to be picked up. Other information that will be helpful when scheduling a trip includes if you have a mobility device or would like to use the lift to board the bus, if you are traveling with a personal assistant, if you will be traveling with a child and what their age is, if you qualify for the discount fares or Medicaid funded trips, if you require a service animal, and the name and number of an emergency contact. Next, identify who is the public transportation system that you need to call. Which county does your trip pickup begin in? Then call your local public transit system in advance to make your reservation. Call ahead times vary by provider. To verify your eligibility for certain discounts, schedulers may request a date of birth and or that a registration form is completed. If you need a text telephone service to schedule your trip, then call 711 and have the phone number of your local rural transit system with you and they will make the connecting service. Please note that personal assistance for a rider always ride for free. Check with your local rural transit systems on specific details regarding personal assistance and possible eligible discounts or frequent rider programs they may have. Please avoid asking to call or schedule transportation directly with the driver. They are not allowed to use cell phones during their shift and they take directions directly through radio communication with the Rural Transit Systems Office. If needing to cancel your trip, please do so as soon as possible. Ideally, cancel at least several hours before the trip. If the office is closed, call and leave a voicemail detailing cancellation information including the date, time, and your name so that they get the information once they open for business. Some rural transit systems do charge for no-show trips, therefore it is important for you to cancel your trip as soon as possible. Each system has a different inclement weather policy. In the event of inclement weather, please check local radio and TV announcements regarding closures. Oftentimes, rural transit systems will call and notify you of cancellations. However, at times that is not possible and you may have to call and check with the system directly. When utilizing a demand response transportation service, be ready to board the bus at least 15 to 5 minutes prior to your scheduled pickup time. When entering the vehicle, 
have your fare ready to go. Sometimes a system will use envelopes or a donation box to track and hold the individual fares paid. Rural public buses are often smaller than the big city buses. Seats can be flipped up or down to accommodate more seating and wheelchairs as needed. Just ask your bus driver. All rural public buses are ADA accessible and have a lift and securements to safely transport wheelchairs, walkers, and various other mobility devices. Due to modern scooters and electric mobility devices, the combined weight can exceed the weight limitations of a lift. If ever you are concerned this could impact your travel, please let your transportation provider know this when booking your trip, and they can go through the details and possible simple solutions that will allow for a trip to still be accommodated. Passengers must wear seat belts. Please dress appropriately. Packages or bags are limited in size and weight and number. They cannot interfere with other passengers riding the bus. Some agencies will allow extra bags over the general limit set by the system for an extra fee. Avoid eating and drinking on the bus. If spilling occurs, you may be required to clean it up. Open containers for drinks or food are prohibited. Refrain from physical or verbal abuse of the driver, staff, or other passengers. Headphones are required for listening to music. Cell phone volume must be minimal and the use of a speakerphone is prohibited. Refrain from using profanity on the bus. Only service animals are allowed on the bus. Please keep conversations with the bus driver to a minimum so that the driver is not distracted while driving. Typically, drivers will try to drop you off at the front door of your destination, but in the event you need to cross the street, once off the bus, do not cross in front of the bus. Instead, wait for the bus to pull away so you are more visible to oncoming traffic. Each rural public transit system has various fares. Commonly, fares are divided into and increase in price respectively for in-town, within-county, and long-distance out-of-county trips. When scheduling your trip, it is also good to verify if there are any additional stops or waiting fees, as this varies system by system. Typical discount fares include seniors that are 60 years of age or older, people with disabilities, and children under a certain age. Also, many of the rural public transit systems have frequency rider passes that can save you money on trips you will be making on a regular basis. A majority of rural public transit systems do not accept credit cards as payments, and often rural bus drivers cannot make change. Therefore, please have exact change when boarding the bus or pay in advance for your trip. In the state of Illinois, the Medicaid broker that approves all associated funded trips is First Transit. As a broker, they only fund transportation, they do not provide it. Many of the rural public transit systems in Region 8 accept Medicaid-funded transportation and are willing to help navigate the approval process with FIRST Transit. But to do this, you will need to sign a waiver and provide additional personal information to accomplish this on your behalf. If you would like to contact FIRST Transit directly to receive the approval, then call 1-877-725-0569. In cases where your public system does not accept Medicaid, there are alternative private taxi and metavans available that either First Transit can refer you to or you can look up on the Regional Transportation Directory found at www.ecihstp.org slash transportation directory. Agencies and organizations cannot purchase frequency passes or bulk trip passes on behalf of a rider. However, if you are a non-for-profit agency looking for dedicated service to transport your clients, contact your local rural public transit manager directly to find out about service contract availability and pricing options. If you are a for-profit organization and are interested in sponsoring a deviated fixed route, then contact your local rural public transit manager directly as well. For long distance out of county trips, we recommend checking at least a week in advance or more with your local provider. If they are unable to accommodate your transportation needs, call your HSTP regional coordinator at 217-531-8285.
Major rail, intercity bus, and motor coach providers within Region 8 include Amtrak, Greyhound, Burlington Trailways, Peoria Charter, and various others. Besides county airports, the only local airport is the University of Illinois Willard Airport. Rural public transportation is not a taxi, and we cannot be everything to everyone. However, we recognize that at times demand response service and distance to make a return trip can result in long wait times for your return trip. While an advance call-ahead reservation is requested, when possible, a same-day requested trip can be accommodated. Please always check with your local provider if this is possible, because denied service is tracked to find out what need isn't being met and how the system can improve in the future. When there is high demand going from one area to another, a deviated fixed route may be created with traditional bus stops that allow anyone to jump on the bus without a reservation. These bus stops are not always marked with a sign, so please be aware of a landmark or cross street that is associated with the bus stop. When utilizing the deviated fixed route, arrive at your bus stop at least five minutes prior to the bus departure time. Wait for the bus to come to a complete stop, and prior to boarding, wait for passengers on the bus to exit first. These routes are called deviated fixed routes because drivers can pick up riders who cannot get to the bus stop due to accessibility needs that call in advance for this service. Some rural transit providers have a bike rack equipped bus. If you would like to bring your bike, please make that request when scheduling your trip and verify if your bike can be accommodated on your trip. If available to be accommodated, then you will store your bike on the bike rack at the front of the bus. We hope you have enjoyed your ride today and we'll see you again soon on a rural public transportation bus. If you would like additional training on how to use public transit, please contact the Champaign County Regional Planning Commission at 217-328-3313 to schedule a group or one-on-one -on -one travel training session.